In this video, we're covering the third and final installment of our series, Building Back Soil with WineCap. If you haven't watched the previous two videos on the subject, they're worth taking a look at for a more in-depth backstory and method. But in short, we took a space that needed some soil built back up after much of it was removed during a renovation. To do this, we decided to break down wood chips with wine cap mycelium, turning the wood chips into a nice, loamy, plantable organic matter, and get mushrooms in the process. The process took a total of just over two years. The first year, June of 2022, consisted of turning the yard space into one large wine cap bed. That first year, and then most of the subsequent year, the landscape was left alone to let the wine cap work and break down the wood chips. The depth of the yard was originally lowest along the fence line, so that is where the bulk of the breakdown needed to happen. In that particular spot, we were trying to build back almost 8 inches of organic matter. At the end of October of 2023, after two full seasons of wine cap doing its work, we finally felt like we could turn the soil and seed it. Turning was necessary as the top layer does dry out in the sun, leaving a half inch or so of wood chips undigested by the wine cap mycelium. While we could have just raked the wood chip layer away, active mycelium still remained and will continue to digest existing wood chips once they are no longer being continuously dried out by the sun. After we turned the chips, a beautiful loamy plantable organic matter was exposed. This is the result of two seasons of wine cap mycelium working its magic. Again, the leftover wood chips you see here will eventually be digested, so we're going to leave them be. Seeding the soil in October of 2023 of course led to some challenges with the upcoming winter setting in, but to our pleasant surprise, the seed took well. This is now August of 2024. But most impressive was the noticeable difference in soil quality. Along the side of the house, where the soil was highest originally, we had no wine cap. The soil here remained more sandy. While the soil from the center of the yard and along the fence line where the wine cap bed was deepest, the soil had a nice dark color to it with a noticeably improved soil structure. Well, ultimately, it would have been less work to just amend the soil from the get-go with a load of compost. This was a great way to use up resources available to us, such as free wood chips from the city, to build back some organic matter. And the soil quality at the end was just a good way to prove that wine cap is a beneficial organism, even if you're not looking to get the mushrooms out of it, but you're just looking to improve your soil.